So when I say Islam is the last religion on earth, I say it because it seems to be the only one who will stand up and say, no, we don't care. No, that's not what the book says. No, I was raised Christian and, and Muslims as a whole, we have no problems with Christians. None at all. I don't want anyone to think I'm anti-Christian, like I dislike Christians. We don't have a problem with Christians. We believe in a lot of the same things. We believe in Jesus. We put more respect on the name of Jesus than most Christians do. I just don't like the idea of people saying they're a Christian and saying, but because I'm a Christian, I can do whatever I want and throw all the rules away and none of it matters. Because once you have that level of tolerance, you no longer have a religion. Islam seems to be the last religion left with parameters. If you don't have parameters, you don't have a religion at all. So the closer I found myself to God, the closer I, saw, I found myself to Islam. That's just how it ended. And Andrew, speaking of fear, one could argue that Islam these days, certainly in the last 20 years with the war on terror, they've also been the most vilified. Absolutely. Right? So, you know, everything that we've seen happen with extremism yeah. and everything that's going on all over the world, how are you grappling with that? You've been a Christian yeah. for, for years now, Islam, everything. And, and you, know what's, you know what, that's such an interesting question because when I was younger, especially when I was an atheist, I would, I would sit and I'd sit and think, people are really doing terror attacks and, and doing all this crazy stuff because, you know, they're upset over a cartoon. That's so stupid. And I, nobody should kill mm -hmm. anybody. Nobody should kill anybody. Charlie Hebdo, everything yeah, that Nobody should yeah. kill anybody. Nobody should kill anybody. I'll make that very clear. But also part of me is now saying, why would you want to insult the prophet for billions of people? Why would you want to do that? I'm not saying you, I'm not even, I don't even want to make the argument against free speech. I'm not even saying you couldn't be allowed to. This is a sensitive subject. I'm mm -hmm. just saying, what kind of person wakes up and thinks, I want to do that? I, I don't know. I just don't think that's a healthy mindset. Like when I see these Satanists, and they're, especially in America, and they're doing, let's keep it on Christianity, these Satanists, and they're dressing up Jesus as gay and all this stuff, like that's not done in any kind of good faith. There's no good reason to do that. That's done with genuinely malicious mm -hmm. intention. And what kind of people want to do that? And then the answer by extension is, I thought America was a Christian country. So how can you have a Christian country where the, the prophets of the religion are mocked to the highest possible levels within the confines of the country and, and it's promoted? Is that a Christian country? Doesn't seem like a Christian country to me. I don't think the same thing would happen with Islam in Saudi Arabia. I can't imagine that happening. So how can you say we're a Christian country, but everyone's mocking our God on the streets? Ha, ha, ha. It's, it's on Netflix, ha, ha, ha. That's not a Christian country to me. So if you're not a Christian country, then where's the religion? Where, the religion's supposed to enforce certain boundaries. You're supposed to at least show it respect, mm -hmm. you know? And it's also kind of interesting because in Christian countries, there's more respect for Islam than there is for Christianity. In a Christian country, name one. They still don't do it with the Islamic prophet. Why do you think that is? It's too much smoke. It's just not worth the heat. Because people believe. And I'm not advocating for violence on any level. I'm saying that even these degenerates who are trying to destroy people's belief in God, like we've discussed earlier, because they don't want you to have any baseline morality. If you believe in God, there are commandments, yes and no. That baseline morality prevents you being an absolute slave. So they're trying to destroy it. But even those degenerates who are trying to mock and disgrace God understand there's a point where it just backfires and, ooh, this is smoke. And they don't want the smoke. And shouldn't God be feared? I'm scared of God. It's the only thing I fear. I fear God. They can put me in jail. I know I'm telling the truth. God's on my side. I fear God. So God should be feared. So once again, does anybody fear the Christian God? I haven't seen anybody scared of him in a long time. And it's kind of crazy because it's very interesting. The max, the, like the mass migration and all these things are leftist policies, but then also Islam is the most right-wing religion on earth. It's kind of very interesting. I grew up in England and I grew up in Luton, which is a town which is mainly Muslim. It's like this, it's a huge Islamic community. And there was a bunch of English people who were complaining about there's too much immigration, we're losing our culture. And I understood their point absolutely. But these are the same people complaining about all the left wing LGBT in schools and all these issues. And I was like, the only allies you have against this are the Muslims. They're the only allies you have in any of this. The Christians don't protest against any of this stuff. The Christians don't, the, there's very few Christians who will get up off their ass and complain. In fact, I saw on Twitter yesterday, one of the churches was lit up in rainbow. I have nothing against gay people. I don't care. And that's actually another point I want to make into about this thing. I think most people don't care, and I think that bothers them. Have you ever had, a, have you ever had an argument with a girl, and she's like stropping around the house, she's huffing and puffing, and you just don't give a shit? So she has to keep upping the ante till you eventually go, 
What's the problem? Because she tried the low level stuff and you didn't care. I kind of feel like this has a remnants of that. I'm gay, cool. I want to get married. I want to wave my dick in your kid's face. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I feel like they're like, they, they tried to annoy us and we're like, we don't give a shit. Do whatever you want. Be a person. We don't what care. Point. And now they're like, okay, well, we have to get to a limit where they have to react. Yeah. We want attention now. We want them to care about What's this. the right move on that? Well, that's, and that's the point. Yeah.